other day I lost my internet connection. Although it showed my network was active, when I looked at my various Wi-Fi devices, they all said no internet connection. And after about an hour or so on the phone with Verizon's tech support, they were unable to help me. I was at wit's end. I couldn't get the uh, Netgear Nighthawk router to, uh, to connect to the internet. So I ended up ordering the Verizon router to replace this because I work off the internet and I needed a, a stable connection. I was using my iPhone as a hotspot to uh, connect, but that isn't a good long-term solution. However, I <laughs> decided to fiddle with, fiddle with it one more time and I was able to uh, fix it. Now I know all fixes don't work for everyone, but this worked for me. So I wanted to uh, share it with you in case you also have Verizon Fios and the Netgear router. It might work with other setups too, but this is what I have. I have the AX3000 router, as I said, Verizon Fios, and this worked for me. When Verizon was doing its test from its end, it kept resetting the modem and also would look at the uh, router and they had me, and they had me uh, try to reset the router as well. And despite uh, numerous connects uh, attempts at making the connection, nothing worked. And as I said, I was on the phone with Verizon for over an hour, and they said that there was nothing they could do on their end as their uh, modem was working properly. So they couldn't assist when you have your own. Uh, router as I do. They don't do anything beyond their equipment. I had attempted to use the Netgear app to do it, but it kept telling me it couldn't recognize it, that I needed to uh, have Wi-Fi to have it work. As that wasn't feasible, I was kind of at wit's end. But as I said, I made one more stab at it, and this is what I did. Now this goes into the back of my router, and as you can see that yellow box there, That'll say either WAN or Internet, as mine does. You have the four uh, lines in, which say Ethernet on them. And it had mentioned that with that cord connected, when you're trying to establish a connection between the two devices, it creates a problem that doesn't allow the connection to be established. What I ended up doing was actually removing this cable and then resetting both the router and the uh, modem. Now what I did was I, I did a factory reset on the router. On the back of the router here, right over there, sorry it's upside down, you see reset amongst all the dust there. And using a paper clip I pressed it in and it does a reset of the settings to uh, the router. I then removed the plug from the outlet on the modem disconnected the router and again that cable there was out of the router and reset both of them. Once they were up and established both had uh, all these green lights showing and this had all five green lights here going down except for that second one down from the top that was blank. Once I plugged that cable back in it went amber and then turned green and then when I went back to my uh, uh, laptop to see if I had established a uh, connection it had in fact done it it was the internet had connected and the only thing I can think of for whatever that comment was on that uh, discussion that I had seen was that when you have that uh, cable still in the uh, slot and it's um, rebooting, it's not allowing the software, for whatever reason, it's not allowing the software to read between the two devices. Obviously, I'm not a technical person. I don't even know if that's <laughs> what the uh, actual solution was. But my having done that established my internet connection for me again after about a, a day of not having internet and just using my iPhone as a uh, hot spot to make a connection. So hopefully, if anybody else has this kind of a problem, they'll be able to uh, resolve it in the same fashion that I did. did. And I'm not certain that it actually uh, played a role or not, but in one of the uh, sites I had checked, it had mentioned uh, 
recapturing or reestablishing the DCHP, DHCP uh, protocol. I have no idea what that is, but I have a Mac. And under system preferences, if you go to the network uh, button here, you click that. And as you can see, it's got the uh, connection. And right now it says the my status is connected to the internet. But uh, that wasn't uh, the case over here. It was like these two here. It said not connected under Wi-Fi. So from this, you wanted to go to um, what you want to connect, which was Wi-Fi. And then you click on Advanced. And it should... You want to go under the TCP IP here. And as you can see, it says using DHCP. Well, right here, you would click on this, renew DHCP list, lease, and then click OK. That uh, apparently does something. It makes some kind of reestablishment of a connection. Now, again, I don't know if this uh, worked because... I had done this previously on the first day that I lost the connection and it obviously had no uh, help in the situation, but maybe in combination with uh, re um, removing that cable and then rebooting both systems, it uh, uh, helped clear out whatever was needed. So I guess it can't hurt. I didn't see anything happen to my computer uh, when... Uh, this was uh, clicked, and then of course you click OK. Everything turn, you know, comes back to this screen. So that was the other thing that I did on my uh, computer. Now, I don't know if that just works on the computer, if it actually does something with the router, with the Wi-Fi connection. I do not know, but those were the two things that I did to reestablish my internet connection. So maybe. Doing one or both of those things for you could help you uh, out as well. So hopefully, if anybody else has this kind of a problem, they'll be able to uh, resolve it in the same fashion that I did. Okay, just a quick video. I was frustrated after a day of not having internet connection and not being able to find a solution uh, for it. This actually helped me. And I hope it can help you too.